Hi there, Pete here from Radio.co. So today we're going to look at Netscast. Now Netscast is some really nice Windows software which allows you to use automation and playout software for your Radio.co station. So first of all, we're going to go to Netscast.com and then we're going to click on Download. Now on the download page, you're going to see lots of different versions and all the features below. But today we're just going to use the download of Netscast Pro. Now on here you'll need to enter your name and your email address and they'll send you a link which you can then run and install the software. Now just a little tip, if you don't see that link in a few minutes, do check your spam or your junk email because sometimes they can end up there. So we're going to go ahead and install that now from the link we've got and then we're going to set it up so we can connect to radio.co. So now we have Netscast installed, what we're going to do is go ahead and set up the broadcast settings so we can connect live to our radio.co station. To do that, we're going to need our live details from our Radio.co dashboard and then we're going to go into the settings page on Netscast. Now it is worth noting, if you're the admin or the owner of your station, you can do this with live anytime enabled or if you're the DJ, you'll need a scheduled event. Right, so on Netscast, we want to go over to broadcast settings in the top right hand side and on here, we're going to choose some of the options. So first of all, for type, we're going to choose Radio.co and then on the server path, what we're going to do is go back to our Radio.co dashboard and copy the host, which is topaz.radio.co. So we're going to paste that into this option here. The port number is also 4328, so we're going to paste that into there. And then on the password, we go back to our Radio.co dashboard, click that to copy that, and then paste that into there. Now you can enter this information if you like, for today's example we won't, but in here you can do your name, your URL and so on. And then on here the audio format, by default is MP3 1 to 8, but you will want to match your station's bitrate, so do check that. Lastly, what we're going to do is click enable encoder. Now this will actually attempt to connect live right now, so if you're not ready to connect live now, don't click this, but for today we're going to click that. That will then try to connect to our Radio.co station and then we can hit close. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and play music down the line. And if we go over to our Radio.co dashboard, we can see the connection status has changed to on air. And in Nextcast, we can also see the on air button up here has gone red as well. So both systems now are showing we are connected. If we wanted to disconnect that, we would click the red on air button on Nextcast. That will go gray. Then when we go back to Radio.co, we can see the connection status is now shown not connected, so we are disconnected from Netscast. Hey, I'm James, founder of Radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.